Yes, this is exactly what we're going to learn. How to create 3D logo animation with Element 3D on Adobe After Effects. You have seen this type of animation on television and social media networks. All you need is After Effects and Element 3D on your computer. We have tried to go into detail as much as possible. You'll learn about Element 3D, how to make your 2D the wind to 3D logo, then we'll add custom texture and animate the logo with camera. This class also has important scene styling techniques and tips. And I'm Emil, I have worked with more than 1000 small to big companies in the last 10 years. Let's create something awesome and creative. See you in the class. So this is the icon or logo we have uh, which will animate so I have drag and dropped it here and then after dragging and dropping so you, you select the layer okay then you go to uh, composition okay then there uh, then layer uh, then you click on auto trace so we'll auto trace it that's it so now we basically have a uh, auto trace version uh, of this icon so that uh, we can make it 3d so uh, in element 3d you cannot actually work with an image you need to auto trace it or you can uh, import obj file or you, you can even use a font so now uh, we'll create a composition okay so i'll call it scene one scene one and the frame rate will be 25 and 1920 by 1080 pixel it will be seven second long okay so now what i'll do i'll copy and paste it okay and i'll i'll, I'll, I'll switch it off then i'll create a new solid layer and that's it okay now we'll go to effect then go to video copilot and click on element so now we have the element on but we cannot see anything as we haven't done anything yet so now we need to go to custom layers custom text and mask and there is a path layer one okay so we'll select the auto trace version of this jpeg okay now go to sin okay here is the element 3d interface uh, which i have explained on uh, another part what is element 3d okay so now uh, you hit on extrude to uh, create the bevel there we go okay so I'll, I'll, I'll what I'll do I'll bring it here okay. and I'll, I'll also scale it down so there you go there is a scaling option so I'll, I'll reduce it I'll reduce it to 50% so it's up to you and it, it will be based on your asset you'll be using okay so now i will increase the bevel size so here is the bevel bevel and here's the bevel size so i'll increase it so we actually have thicker bevel as you can see it's increasing there you go and i will expand the edges okay and we'll also work with the curve there you go okay now what we'll do we'll actually uh, uh, bring some uh, texture on it okay so we don't as you can see there is no texture 
in our uh, 3D layer. I think we can increase the extrude a bit more. Okay. I think it looks nice, huh? Okay, now uh, there is some uh, set presets here, okay? So you can, for example, go to Pro Shader Maps. I will also show you how, how you can actually customize it. So you can like select any uh, shader or maps if, if you uh, if you have this pack in, in your element 3D. So I'll, I'll just go to metal, okay? And and uh, do this, just double click on it. There you go, see? And we'll hit OK. Our object, 3D object ready. Okay. Now uh, we'll create a camera. Uh, and also, I, I would like to change the uh, texture of this, but before that, uh, let's create the camera. So I'll go to layer, then I'll go to new and camera. And I will hit OK uh, with this setting. And what I want, I want uh, uh, this uh, icon to move left to right or right to left. Okay, so I will hit C on my keyboard, then bring it down. So you can also do it uh, by using from here. You can go here. There is a transform option, so you, you can uh, do it uh, do it also from here. But I'm also I'm basically doing with my mouse, so you can also do it from here. Can you see? So I'm basically using the shortcut key. So I have selected the camera orbit option. So I want it to look like this, this. Okay. So I'll hit a uh, stopwatch of point of interest and position. And when it will reach to two seconds long, so it, it will look something like this. So like slow movement okay like revealing itself and also uh, what I want it will zoom in so I will hit another C uh, until you have this option then you zoom in like this zoom in okay so now I'll, I'll select both these uh, or like for these stopwatch icons frame then I'll go to keyframe, keyframe assistant, easy is, okay, you hit F9 on your keyboard, uh, you'll get that done. So now I'll, I'll go to camera option, so I want some uh, depth of field, okay, so I'll increase the aperture, here we have the standard 17 by 17 pixels, so I'll, I'll increase it. You basically play around based on your uh, project so uh, it is too much so I'll, I'll reduce it I'll reduce it to okay so now it will look like this uh, I'll also reduce this to full to half. Uh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Th this is how we want it. So this is our first scene. So the texture we have right now is basically a a built-in uh, texture of Element 3D. But I don't want to use it. I want to customize it so that you can. Uh, customize your texture with any pictures uh, or images you want. So uh, uh, this is the texture, the gold one. Uh, I'm going to use it. So I have drag and dropped it here. Okay. And what I'll do, I'll drag and drop it in my composition. Okay. And I'll size it down to. Okay. I'll, I'll reduce it and scale it down. And I'm, I'll close it. Now I'll go to my element 3D. Okay, let's uh, name this layer element 3D. 
okay so so now uh, there is a custom texture option here and I'll go to layer one and I'll select uh, the image number which is two so again I'll go to element 3d I'll basically go to this option and go here there is a diffuse so I'll, I'll change it uh, I'll hit diffuse then we have this option then uh, there is a drop down icon then I'll select custom layer okay so then I'll hit OK. I'll go to specular. Same thing I need to do. So it's, it's basically coming up in action. And also this one. There you go. See? But uh, there is a, you know, the darker part of the texture. This one. Okay, I, I want to move it. So what I'll do, I'll again go to diffuse. I'll I'll, I'll offset it. A bit. Yeah. 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 And uh, the offset value is zero nine, and I'll I'll do it for others also. Zero nine. Okay, and also the bomb player. I'll hit OK. So I am now what I what I want. I basically want to uh, increase the shine of it. So there is a intensity part you can see. So we'll increase it. We'll increase it to one eighty. Yeah. So we have um, more reflection and and also the reflection intensity here. Okay. Now we'll hit OK. See. Now we have uh, a very good looking custom made. Uh, 3D icon okay so we have the first two seconds ready and we'll create uh, another uh, uh, camera option so I'll go to project so what I'll do I'll just uh, duplicate this scene one so I'll control hit control D on my keyboard so now we have scene 2 there we go so I'll delete this camera option here okay now we have the basic camera thing so I'll create a uh, another camera so now I'll go to new and camera so what I want now I want it to like uh, it's coming from the top this, this is how I want it to look like so uh, So I'll go to two seconds. Okay, I'll keyframe this. I'll bring it to zero. Zero. There you go. Okay. And it will like slowly go behind. Yeah. So now I'll, I'll select all uh, all the keyframes then go to keyframe s10 easy ease so this is how it will look like okay we we have it now what i want i i basically wanted to uh, rotate so i'll go to element 3d okay. and there is a wall control uh, transform option here so i want it to rotate okay so uh, uh, we have the rotation going on okay so uh, I'll uh, I'll just animate the uh, Y rotation value here so I'll hit uh, the stopwatch option and select this layer and hit U and I'll move it forward and I, I want it to look something like this like uh, move yeah and select all both keyframes and go to keyframe assistant and easy ease 
So now, if if I play it, uh, you 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 have the you know thing. Okay. And also, uh, uh, you can also uh, animate from uh, Elements Ready. So, uh, what what we'll do? We'll just animate uh, the bird here. So, uh, we have the world position X Y. So, I'll hit the stopwatch here, and uh, basically, when it will animate, it will actually move down. So, uh, our logo reveals uh, more uh, slowly and properly. There you go. Mm -hmm. no, I, do, I don't want to show the show the full logo because I will have another animation for it. So So this is how it basically it is animating and we have the third uh, option uh, in the resolution so it is not looking high res but in the final render it will be beautiful so now we'll create another scene i'll go to scene uh scene 2 and i will do the same thing i will hit ctrl d on my keyboard so we have the scene 3 option uh i'll do the same thing i'll uh, basically uh, remove the uh, camera and also uh, uh, go to element 3d I, I don't want any animation okay because I, I will uh, animate it differently and also uh, remove the world xy version okay now uh, we have the camera and uh, we want to rotate it like this oh uh, by the way we haven't created the camera so I'll go to layer new and camera hit ok now we'll, we'll just you know uh, have a look like this yeah then uh, we will have this option by Ctrl C, hitting Ctrl C on our keyboard and we'll zoom in. And I'll bring it a bit down. So it, it will look something like this. So it will basically animate. Uh, so I'll, I'll go to camera. Okay, there is a transform option. Hit stopwatch and also a point of interest stopwatch so now we have our camera and and our camera is right in this position and we have keyframed uh, our uh, initial point so what we want basically we want to move in so move in uh, from uh, here to here Less like uh, uh, we'll hit the C on our keyboard, then just move it like this. We'll bring the camera a bit down. I will basically select all uh, four keyframes and go to. Uh, Go to our uh, Easy Ease option, keyframe assistant, Easy Ease. Now uh, we actually need to work on our depth of field, but if you want to keep this way, it's up to you. But uh, in this type of scene, depth of field does actually create a great cinematic look. So uh, make sure you have the depth of field option ready on and we'll increase the aperture size uh, aperture pixels to uh, 70 around 70 okay now uh, the focus is for distance 
So, but uh, we we don't want it. Uh, so we, we want to make it close, like uh, 200. Let's see now. Uh, let's increase to 400. Uh, no, uh, I think yeah. Then this is how uh, it is looking. Yeah, it's looking beautiful this way. So now we have the scene three animation. There you go. This is how it, it will go, and it is. I think it is looking good. Now, now we'll select the scene two. Then uh, hit Control D on our keyboard to duplicate it. So now we have the final scene and where the logo will reveal itself. But we will uh, uh, have more options, like for example, okay. Now uh, we, we want to zoom in more. And uh, we want to zoom in here. 3.5 seconds it will it will rebuild itself there you go so it will look something like this, it will move in. So we, we can actually add a more extra rotation here. So we'll create more rotation. So the rotation and movement, it, it will actually like be kind of continuous so, so. but more more rotation yeah uh another one yeah so it will actually rotate rotate and then final review so I think it's looking good now. What I'll do, I'll basically I actually like the overall depth of field and everything of the scene tree. I'm going to duplicate it. So I'll I'll just hit Control D and here is our scene five. And I basically want to keep the same depth of field and but uh, move the position of it. Okay. I'll just uh, remove all the keyframe and interest. Okay. Done. Now I'll just uh, hit point of interest and position go to two seconds long and I'll just move it forward. So it should look something like this. Basically, I wanted to uh, reveal the logo from blurred from blurred to uh, the main edges of the uh, main icon. So we have now five scenes, and now uh, we're going to create our final uh, render view. So I'll uh, go to my composition, then I'll call it final render. 
500 and hit okay and it will be 10 seconds long and 25 frames uh, like the last time so I'll, I'll select the synthy first I think uh, it actually has the feel and I will take 3 seconds still 3 seconds and uh, I'll reduce the size to quarter for a faster view and I'll reduce say okay now I'll uh, I will take our scene 5 I'll zoom in uh, so that I can make sure that it is 100% okay there we go and it will yeah that's it so uh, I have an animated it like uh, for two seconds so I actually so I took only two seconds so uh, I will also reduce the size of it okay now uh, we have these options now i'll go to our scene one okay i i, I like the scene one animation also uh, i'll take till two seconds i'll cut it from here like this and after trimming it i'll just uh, add it after our scene five which is actually here okay now uh, basically I like the scene 2 more so I'll go to scene 2 I'll, I'll make it as final scene because I, I like the rotation of it it is quite simple and and this is uh, how we need it so I uh, like it has all the it has done all the rotation and everything uh, till two seconds and in four seconds I, I want to just position it okay I'll just get it down or you can animate it from here like here okay and uh, and I'll hit C on my keyboard and place it back yeah this is the place yeah. okay now uh, I'll go to final render again and then uh, place our uh, final scene here. Place it here. When we created our main composition, it was 25, uh, only 10 seconds and 25 frames. So now I will increase it by 2 seconds more. Okay. So that we have uh, the complete animation. Yeah. Now we have it. So. And this is a full view. Now we'll do the uh, animation. I'll render it, and I'll uh, after rendering it, I'll show you how it is looking. Then we'll do some styling and finalize it. So this is what is what it is looking right now after uh, doing the basic rendering. Now we will add uh, lighting and uh, change the background, and I'll give you some tips how we can improve this type of animations so uh, lots of possibilities but let's start with the uh, one so now <laughs> for example uh, uh, in this scene here 
we can see uh, uh, the first scene uh, our uh, scene number three uh, the one we have created uh, called uh, uh, scene three so in scene three we can improve this uh, part of the animation by uh, creating a light to create a light you need to create a new solid uh, hit ctrl y on your keyboard and uh, then um, now we need to basically change uh, the color to black so again ctrl shift y and I'll, I have selected it black now I'll go to effect and there is a option uh, uh, go to option generate then lens flare uh, the 105 prime zoom and uh, we'll position it here And now uh, we go to the modes. Now it is normal. Uh, we'll, we'll give the uh, blending mode uh, as add. So it will look something like this. Uh, it, will, it will be here. The black solid, we'll call it light. And now we'll animate the position of the light. Uh, I'll hit the keyframe of the light in center and go to three seconds and move it from here to here. okay so uh, this is this is a very basic animation but it it will give some uh, some uh, wow factor uh, in our animation so so now uh, we, we will also uh, add the same light uh, flare effect here I'll create a new solid code effect lens flare uh, 105 mm normal mode to add I'll put it here yeah so now it will be from here to from two seconds it will look something like this yeah that's it so now uh, we'll go to a third frame here, this one. We'll add more lighting, good effect, lens flare, bring it here. Yeah, 105 prime mode to add. Yeah. And I'll increase the intensity. For this one, I'll just uh, do very more basic animation. Like, just will uh, it will have the you know, like intensity is increasing when it is coming closer. Yeah, that's it. And our final scene. okay the final scene for the final scene uh, I was basically playing uh, with it so we can add a, 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 a for example I have added a color like purple background here and uh, we can also create something like this so uh, let me show how uh, you can create something like not, uh, create something like this now we don't actually have any background like it is basically transparent so it is black all black so now uh, I'm going to create another solid layer, Control Y. Then I'll 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 just uh, pick up uh, this type of gray color, light gray. Okay, I'll bring it down here and I'll mask it. So for example, I'll mask this position, and then I'll go to feather, feather it like feather. Yeah. So we have uh, this type of cool ramp effect. So uh, we, we can do it. Uh, we can do it in so many ways. Uh, for example, we can also do it in another way. Uh, there, there is a <coughs> sorry. Uh, there is a option like you go to generate ramp. Yeah. Then go to radial. So you can also uh, do it this way. So there are so many options available. 
see so if we if we bring it down so it will look something like this so now we uh, we're going to create our lighting go to no we, we need to create again now we're going to create our lighting i'll hit ctrl y on my keyboard then i'll, I'll select the black layer okay and i'll go to effect then generate lens flare 105 prime yeah like from this to this and i go to add yeah that's it So, what we'll do, uh, uh, we'll just uh, click on lens flare and uh, I want it to move from here to here. Like three closer, yeah. So, that's it. So this is how we have uh, stylized our uh, complete animation and uh, I'll render it and add some music and show you. Uh, thank you for watching and also check our uh, other tutorials. We have created a, a series of logo animations, minimal, 3D and uh, so many other styles and also uh, some more effective and useful uh, After Effects related tips and graphic design related tips on my uh, profile. So check that. Thank you.